वेलकम टू यू इन माई चैनल मैथमेटिकल क्लिनिक ऑफ सुभाष झा फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस दिल बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ द लेटेस्ट वीडियो अपलोडेड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू इस्टेब्लिश द लिमिट थ्योरम द थ्योरम वन इज प्रूफ जोमेट्रिकली दैट लिमिट थेटा टेंस टू जेरो साइन थीटा इक्वल टू जेरो एंड लिमिट थेटा टेंस टू जेरो कॉस थीटा इक्वल टू वन वी आर गोइंग टू इस्टेब्लिश दिस थ्योरीज जोमेट्रिकली <coughs> Let us construct a triangle, even right angle triangle, named ABC, right angle at P. Suppose this angle is theta. We have support the acute angle C to be theta. So, with respect to angle theta, one this one is the perpendicular. This one is the base, and this one is the hypotenuse. That I'm going to write here. Let us construct a right angle triangle, right angle at B, and consider angle C equal to theta. Let us construct a right angled triangle, right angle at B. Right angle at B. Let angle B C A equal to theta. Let angle B C A equal to theta. <coughs> uh, we must concentrate here that if theta tends to zero, everyone concentrate here. If this theta Becomes zero, you know, very near to zero, closer to zero. Then this line, this hypotenuse line, must coincide with this baseline. This this edge must coincide with this B. It means AC should coincide with BC. That I'm going to write here. If theta tends to zero, theta tends to zero. Then this line AC. Coincides with with BC. It means AC will be equal to BC. Anyone at the same times, if theta decreases, you know, move towards the zero one, then this line come down, come down, and coincide with BC. If this line come down, coincide with BC, then almost coincide with BC, then this altitude AB becomes almost zero. Getting it? If Uh, angle theta tends to zero. Then this AC tends to BC. AC equal to BC. I have written here. No problem. You can you could write you know AC tends to BC. And even this altitude AB becomes zero. Very simple thing. Theta tends to zero means this one is the angle theta. This angle C is theta. This angle to be zero means this line almost coincide with BC. Tend to zero then almost coincide with BC. If almost coincide with BC, then this length AC becomes equal to BC and this height becomes AB becomes zero. That I have written here. If theta tends to zero, then AC tends to BC. Let us write tend to BC and AB tend to zero. Now, by Pythagoras theorem, what is sine theta? Sine theta is p upon h, p upon h, and p is how much here? With respect to theta, p is a b upon h is how much? h is a c. Let us apply theta tends to zero here. Limit theta tends to zero sine theta equal to. If theta tends to zero, then if theta tends to zero, then you can use a b tends to zero. On the right side, you can use limit instead of theta tends to zero. You can write. A B tends to zero. A P tends to zero. A B divided by A C. Now, if you substitute A B equal to zero here, then zero upon finite number equal to zero. So we are able to prove number one. Limit theta tends to zero sine theta equal to zero. Again, what will be cosine theta? Cos theta is Pythagoras theorem is cos theta equal to B upon H. What is B here? B is B C. And what is H? What is the hypotenuse one? Hypotenuse is AC. Again, use limit theta tends to zero on left. Theta tends to zero cosine theta will be instead of theta tends to zero on the right. You can use if theta tends to zero, then you can use AC tends to BC. AC tends to BC here BC upon AC. So this is 
this is what we can replace ac by bc bc in the numerator as it is and here in the denominator in the place of ac you can write what bc bc and bc will be cancelled and you will be left with one so we are able to prove that limit theta tends to zero cosine theta equal to one